No one here wants to waste keycards. We all know how valuable and hard to find they are and really don't want to waste them. But once you found the keycard, you need to decide at which of the four locations you actually want to use it. That is why I made it my mission again to test out all of the keycard walls and rank them based on the found loot and accessibility, or difficulty you could say. In my last four videos, I checked out each of the four keycard walls three times each to determine which loot can be found. I will be showing the results to each vault in this video and then be taking that as a key point to rating them. Before we actually start, let me know your personal rating and favorite keycard area you go to whenever you find one. Now, let's start with the Island Vault. Okay, on screen you can now see all the items you got in the three raids. Island has a pretty versatile loot pool. We had weapons, we had armor, we had attachments, and we had junk. Pretty evened out, I'd say. Two of the three vaults had a pretty good item in it each, with one having the Ronin mask, really nice, and the Ragnar backpack, also really nice, and the third having an AK Alpha, also very good and one of the best guns in the game. I think that translates to a pretty good chance of getting something decent. The Island Vault also doesn't really provide much of a risk going to, unless you rush it early game, which you shouldn't do most of the time, as most people tend to to rush to the good locations, such as the prison in our case, as soon as they can, then also extract soon after, you're pretty much alone, just a little bit into the raid already. And now, if you do get someone on you while looting the vault, you still have the window to see them through before they even threat, as the window is bulletproof. So as long as you wait a bit and keep an eye on the window from time to time, you should be pretty good and without much risk. And as a bonus, there's an extraction right next to prison you might be able to take. But yet, of course, it's always best to take a buddy or two with you. Let's move on to Silo. Again, you've seen what we got. Currently, I'm showing all the results. Due to the high amount of big weapon crates, and as you can see with the results, Silo tends to be more focused around guns. While it did have armor, attachments, and junk, the majority of the loot were guns. And now, of course, you might see this differently, but in my opinion, the only gun that was really worth it in these raids was the AK-5C, which also is one of the best weapons in the game. But you have to give it to Silo. There were drum mags in two out of the three vaults, so I guess if you're looking for those, you might have a good chance in those vaults. And I guess you could say the medical cabinet is a plus, but since they nerfed it, there. It's more of a rare bonus now. Also, Sidle doesn't really provide much of a risk going to. While looting it, you do still have to be cautious though. The vault has no protection whatsoever and especially if you're alone, you can easily be rushed. This proves much more of a risk if your opponent uses grenades, as Silo is quite small and there's no room to hide in, so you your best bet is to run out of there then. But all of that caution very often is not even needed when going to Silo. You have to keep in mind that in Silo there can only be 6 players, which means 5 opponents when solo, 4 when duoing, and just 3 when you get a full squad assembled. And I think you got a pretty good chance if your squad takes up half of the entire lobby. Now, while Silo is easily rushed, most of the time people go in naked and leave as soon as they can. From my experience, I often was alone in Silo less than 10 minutes in, sometimes even without a single kill. So I'd say there's barely any risk involved, as you can basically camp your spawn, especially if you spawn right next to it in kitchen, which by the way also has a keycard spawn. Well, let's go over to the Mad Camille's Bridge Vault now.
This one's already pretty good. As the loot seems quite similar to Island, that's one thing special about this. In three raids, we have gotten two purple keycards. That means you have a good chance to go in there and leave with a keycard, giving you free access to either this old again or another one of your choice. And now, think about it like this. There's a decent chance you'll get a keycard back to back there. Potentially, you could enter this world dozens of times, only having one keycard initially. While that, of course, is still up to luck, most of the time I found a keycard in the vault room, it was the bridge vault. Yeah, we don't really have to talk about the loot, I'd say. The two gear tech backpacks, which also seem to have a good chance of being there here, together with the Ragnar backpack, are already pretty good. In addition, there's also an AK Alpha in here, which once again is one of the best weapons in the game. But aside from that and the keycards, there wasn't really anything special. Especially the armor was bad in this case, mostly being tier 3. About the risk, you should not forget this vault is on Mad Kamis, a dark area with a lot of geared players there, from what I've been seeing, as Mad Kamis is also pretty big and bots seem to be pretty accurate with their shots here, just the way to the bridge can be deadly. If given the wrong spawn point, you have to walk quite a big distance. Yet, when at the bridge, I'd say it's pretty safe. There's only a small entrance and you should be able to hear anyone walking up unless you're walking very slowly. So peek at the door from time to time. Let's move on to the last vault, House of Scott. Here's all the loot of Hado Scott. For House of Scott, we must keep in mind that we also need a skull, which could otherwise be sold to 20k Karunas, which does translate into a Kita Skull, for example. So I'm really not sure how to feel about House of Scott. We did get a GPU, the only one on all of these vaults actually, but that really was it. Two of the three vaults also did contain a magnifier combo, which I do heavily enjoy, but isn't the greatest of loot. Also, only one of the vaults contained the tier 6 armor and the weapons, aside from the two SKS, were pretty mediocre too. But I did have quite a few attachments there compared to the other vaults, mainly scopes such as the smith scopes and well the magnifier combos. But yeah, I don't know what more to say. To me, this is House of Loss instead of House of Scott, you get what I mean? But anyway, the risk involved in this is pretty high I'd say. I've seen plenty of people check if House of Scott has been opened already during Mad Kami's raids and then they jump in and, well, get you if you're still there. Also, once down there, it's pretty easy to push. Again, even easier with grenades, just like Silo. Adding to this, as already said during the bridge vault, it's also on Mad Kamist, a generally harder place overall, in my opinion. But let's keep more for later. Let's jump to the conclusion and my ranking. Okay, I've shown you the results and told you a bit about how risky each of the vaults are. Of course, if you got a different opinion on anything, be sure to tell me in the comments. Okay, I personally put the list like this. On first place, I'd put Mad Kamis Bridge Vault. Okay, let me explain. The loot wasn't the greatest, but the biggest reason I'm putting this on number one is the chance of additional purple keycards. I see it like this. If you open this vault and get a keycard, you essentially enter for free. And there seems to be a decent chance of that happening in this vault. Higher than in the other ones at least. So my reasoning will be that you have a chance with multiple chances to get something nice. Like a few Nia Tech backpacks or a Ragnar backpack, an AK Alpha, all that shit. Okay, on second place I'd put Island. I'd put it on second place due to it being very hard to push and having pretty decent and even out loot. Like if you're unsure what to look for, Island has it all. Be it weapons, be it armor, be it attachments. While other vaults such as Silo are more focused around guns or attachments, you basically get everything here. And due to the vault basically also being sealed off and still having the window to see approaching players through, you got a pretty safe and even dot vault. It just feels nice going here. Also worth to mention that there's a keycard spawn right above it. Okay, on third place I got Silo. Once again, the loot wasn't the greatest, yet Silo is one of the safest to open and also has a keycard spawn right next to it. As I also like weapons, I enjoy going to this vault from time to time. There's not much else to say about this. Take a body, clear a Silo, wait in your spawn, head to the vault, grab all shit and get out. 
out as easy as that. Okay, on fourth and last place, on my list, I put also Scott. Okay, and I might be doing it a bit of injustice, but I really haven't gotten anything worth all out of it yet, especially as you also need to skull. In addition, it's also on Mad Come East. In my opinion, by far the hardest map in the game. I just don't know what to say, really. It was quick, but I guess that was my ranking. Be sure to comment yours and your reasoning. I'm excited to hear it. And with that, I wish you all a great day. Goodbye, gamers.